hey guys welcome back to the channel so guys in today's video we are going to be learning how to cut and sew this beautiful diamond shaped top or a kite top if that's something you're interested in do make sure to keep watching and let's get right into the video so to make this top i'm going to make use of this fabric like you've seen from the end result and yeah i'll be making use of 13 inches and i got that by measuring from one side of my bust to the other side of my bust i'll be adding one inch so it gives us 14 and that's for our sewing allowance so now i'm just going to go ahead now i mark out a fabric measuring 14 by 14 and then make use of my scissors to just cut it out and I'll also be separating it up so yeah, you can see that I have two pieces instead of one so yeah, that's because I don't have another fabric that would have matched this if not I would have made it a reversible top so yeah, if you have two fabric that match each other then you can just make use of it that way and then it becomes a reversible top but for mine I'll just make use of two pieces instead so yeah we have it here measuring 14 by 14 inches so the next now will be to go ahead now and cut the straps and the loops for the top. So yeah, these are the straps. So for the strap, I just cut out a long fabric. So I don't really, um, it doesn't really have a measurement. Just a long fabric that you know will be enough. So yeah, we have two pieces for the strap, and yeah, we have that for the loop. So yeah, the strap is measuring one and a half inches, like you can see. The same thing for the loop. Also, it's also measuring one and a half inches. So the next thing I'm going to do now will be to go ahead now and sew the loops. So I'm just going to go ahead now and fold it in two like so and basically head over to my sewing machine and stitch from one end to the other end. The same thing for the strap, just that the strap I want it to have neat finishings at the one end because yeah, we're having two straps. So I'm just going to head over to the sewing machine and just stitch that part, close it up and basically stitch the rest of the strap all through to the end I'm just to repeat this for all strap so after i was on this what we have i went ahead and i closed up that part like so and we have the other end opened and did the same thing for the other straps so yeah, the next thing i'm going to do now will be to go ahead and make use of my skewer stick to just turn this inside out you can make use of your safety pins or a threaded needle to just basically turn this inside out and yeah, this is what we have. I'm going to go ahead now and repeat the same thing for the other straps. And after I was done all of the other straps, this is what we have. So those are the open point and yeah, the other part is the neat finished edges. So yeah, for the loops, for each loop, I'm going to be making use of two and a half inches. So yeah, and I need two loops for this top. So I'm just going to go ahead now and mark out two and a half inches. And I need to, like I said, so I'm going to go ahead and make use of this to cut out another loop and here we have two loops that we're making use of and two straps that we're going to be making use of so now i'm just going to go ahead now and get my main um bodies like so and place the both of them right sides facing each other like so and then i'm just going to tilt it in a form that it stays like a kite basically what you see me do now i'm just going to get rid of the front one so you can choose whatever direction you wear wherever you want the straps to be and where you want the loops to be it totally depends on you so i'm just going to go ahead now and i'm pinning the straps to the bodies so yeah we're going to be pinning that part that is opened not the sealed edge now the opened edge so we're going to be pinning both of them to the top of the fabric like so just pin it down And now that I'm done, I'm just going to ensure that the strap stays inside the top like so. And I'm going to go ahead now and pin the loops also. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold the loops in two like so. And pin them down like so. So pin that down there. And I fix the other as the opposite direction. And also pin it down. And now that I'm done pinning it down, this is what we have. So I'm just going to go ahead now and get the other parts of the main bodies and then just place it right sides facing each other. Just place it like so, right sides facing each other. And I'm going to head over to the sewing machine now and stitch all around. So yeah, but then we're going to leave an opening 
and here the opening will be about two inches there so i'm not going to be marking that part yeah so that part will be left open to turn it inside out i'm going to go ahead now and basically just stitch by half of an inch all around the top like so and back to that part leaving that part open so yeah after i was done stitching it this is what we have and yeah i've stitched it all around plus the opening we left so i'm going to go ahead now and turn the top inside out through that little opening and this is what it should look like after we are done turning it inside out the next thing now will be to go ahead and close up that um, part that we used to turn it inside out just here go ahead over to the same machine now and basically just stitch at that point like so and after i was done this it have stitched it and yeah that's basically it for this top looking all beautiful so i hope you guys enjoyed the video you can do it to try this out and send me pictures to my instagram don't forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on our future videos thank you guys for watching once again bye and see you in my next video